heart's gone. My friend, the prayer's gone, the joy's gone, the passion's gone in many of our churches and many of our assemblies. And they're replaced with ritual and tradition and orthodoxy and death. This whole ecumenical Babylonian system which are squaring up in mighty ways in these last days, part of the end times, and we'll be dealing with it here. If you keep coming on the Sunday night, we'll be dealing with it. All this, my friend, is doomed to damnation. Listen to what Jesus says in Revelation. He's saying about the apostate church. He's saying about these forgers of lies. These preachers of love all the time, no judgment, no God, no power, no authority. Here's what he said about them. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partaker of her sins, as that ye'll receive them, and that ye'll receive not the plagues in the day of wrath. This is serious stuff. These are truths that we need to speak. We need to examine, you need to examine examine the denomination that you're in and the people that you're inclined to and the people that you're giving your money to. You need to, I'm not on a recruiting campaign tonight. I don't care, you never come back. Glad to see you. We've never carried on like that here. I am telling you tonight from the Word of God that you would need to go around the foundations and you would need to examine what's going on and where you're giving your money to and what you're propping up. Something God has departed long ago from. It is my duty as the servant of God and the watchman of God to warn the people to warn the populist men, women and children of these fierce catastrophes that's going to fall upon us as described in the Word of God and some of them we were looking at last Lord's Day evening. God forbid us, or for, forgive us for holding back the truth. When I was running about years ago, there was a song, Top of the Church by Jim Reeves. I hear the sound of distant drum. My friend, these are not distant drums. These are drumming in her ear every day of the week and will get worse and will get worse. And cursed is he that withholdeth the corn and God forgive us for not warning this generation of the judgment that's going to come. An article in the Daily Telegraph lately said this, Apocalypse, World War III, Armageddon is on the way. It's very sad that there's more warning coming from the world, from the media and from the military, than there's coming from the house of God. But I want to say to you tonight that there's still time. I want to call you tonight to flee to the ark. I want to call you tonight to flee to the refuge. I want you to call you tonight to flee away to the foot of the old rugged cross and there take the Lord Jesus as your Savior and be safe when these things come.